So you're someone who has definitely separated yourself from things that don't serve purpose in your life. You've created a new life for yourself. You have a strong um, sense of spirituality with the hair font being here, firm beliefs. And it's like you've stepped into your power. You're using this for good. You're using your power in a positive way. Now, somebody is wanting to, this could be come toward you, but they're in fear. This person is doubt, doubting something or um, there's some type of criticism from other people. This could be other people's opinions that's preventing this person from moving on. It's like they're wanting to take this adventure with the Knight of Wands, a positive move. They're happy. They're excited about it. But this person is like holding on to certain people. Or they're holding on to opinions of other people and it's preventing them from moving forward. Yeah. This is someone who is wanting to come toward you for a new love relationship. This is something that you'll enjoy. This is something that is going to make you and that person happy. Um, but somebody has to balance out their mind in order to make the right decision for them. Because... The six of swords in the reverse, them fearing something or doubting something based off of what other people are saying or want them to believe. It's like keeping them in the energy of reaping something. The negative energy, um, the negative thoughts that they're feeling. It's like keeping them restricted. Yeah. Now it's like there's been some type of unexpected turn of events. So something unexpected happened. And now it's like whoever these people are, they're realizing these are people that wanted them to doubt the connection that they want to have with you because they were jealous. But these are people that did not want them to see that. They're jealous of this person connecting with you. They're jealous of this person following their heart. Because this is someone who has genuine love for you with the Ace of Cups. Yeah, they're realizing that there was some type of secret jealousy. This could be secret competition as well with them connecting with you. And it's like, whoever these five of wands are, these are people that were close to this person. It's something that they needed to pay attention to. Because they weren't listening to their intuition. But now they're seeing the truth. Yeah, wolf in sheep clothing. These are people that are irritated by the way that you stand out with shine being here. Your light irritates their demons.
Now, one of these people thought that they were going to force something on another person. And they will get what they wanted. So maybe they were trying to force this person to um, stay away from you. Disconnect from you or just not come toward you. And it's like whatever they said to this person, they kind of like brushed it off with dusted off being here. And they started watching you online. Um, they could have definitely tried to like bully you online. Yeah, but it's like they've watched you step into your power. You have unbothered. So say if they um, said something or just told that person like, hey, stay away from that person. And they felt like they got that person to listen to them. They got that person to um, not come toward you. I don't know if they felt like you would be bothered. You would be affected by this, but you were unbothered. Yeah, this didn't affect you. This tactic had this person, somebody crying over you. Yeah, or just had this person sad and hurt. Whoever the person is that listened to another person instead of their intuition. Yeah, they, it's like too, somebody had too much time on their hand. It's like they were doing a lot behind the scenes with moving moves and silence being here. Being nosy all up in your business. It's like they this person didn't have any proof or facts about something that they lied about to keep this person away from you. It's like they needed to reassure their self that they can keep this person away from you after they did whatever they did to get that person to disconnect from you. This could have been ghost you, stop communicating with you, or just not come toward you. But there was no facts. This is someone who was studying you, researching you. They were giving people money. They gave somebody some money to, to say that they was in some type of love affair with you or... This could have been said to say that they had sex with you. Like somebody was paid. This is crazy. It's like somebody took out the time to pay another person to lie to this person so they could make sure they could keep them away from you. Yeah. I was like, whoever the person is that came to them, this was so dramatic. Whatever they said to them to get them to stay away from you, it was so dramatic. It was obvious that it was a lie to get that person to like, like stay away from you. It's like somebody was thirsty for attention or thirsty for clout and they just made up anything. Yeah. And this could be at a time that you, with the Nine of Pentacles being the first card that popped out, you're single. You're someone that's celibate. You could be saving yourself for commitment. So you've been isolated for a long time. You're not focused on a relationship at this moment. You're just focusing on bettering yourself. Your stability, achieving goals. And manifesting what your heart truly desires. Yeah. 
somebody was so hurt that you weren't bothered by whatever they did to make this person ghost you or not come toward you to the point where they, they, somebody reported something to child services. It's like they wanted to hurt you. They wanted you to be sad. They wanted to project their energy off onto you. It's like somebody wanted to see you um, go through some type of trauma, some type of crisis, emotional pain involving a child or your children. There was some type of abuse or neglect reported to the authorities involving a child or children. Yeah, they wanted you to be stressed out. They wanted you to be up in your head, overanalyzing, overthinking the situation. And also, this is something, this legal issue was supposed to give them something to talk about, to make you look bad. Spark up a lot of negative gossip about you. Yeah. Yeah. Because you intimidate this person or these people. Take it where it resonates. Like this could be one person or this could be multiple people that were intimidated by you. They felt threatened because you're unbothered. And your light irritated their darkness, their demons. Now somebody teamed up with another person that Thought they had this person that wants to come toward you hooked. And they were watching you with creeping and hooked being here. So if this was like a family member of this person's or a close friend that was jealous. And they didn't want that person to come toward you. They teamed up with an ex. Somebody that felt like they had that person stuck on them and they could get that person to be stuck on them again. When they realized this person was someone that was interested in coming toward you, they teamed up together and they felt like they would get this person to come back towards them or they would be able to go towards them with a dirty offer. But they didn't, it didn't work. Because they viewed that person as someone, um, someone that's not going to change. Like the reason why they walked away from that person, it had nothing to do with the way that they feel about you or them wanting to come toward you. It had all to do with whatever they've seen that person um, or the way that they've seen that person act, who they truly are as a person. Yeah, a spiritual hater. So this is someone who definitely hates the fact that you have a strong um, sense of spirituality, firm beliefs. Your light irritates their darkness. You stepping into your power irritates this energy. And this could be, these could be people that you've never even met before. They don't like whatever it is that you believe in. If you believe in spirituality, you have firm beliefs. They just don't like it. Because like whatever you have done, it has helped this other person to do a lot of self-reflecting too. It's helping them to gain mental clarity. This person has a firm um, belief in spirituality as well. And they hate it. Yeah, it's helping them to open up their heart chakra. This could be something that they dealt with in a past life. Yeah, this is someone who was not open to giving or receiving love. So whatever connection that they were in with another person, this could have just been based off of like lust, like a lustful connection. They're accustomed to loveless connections. So maybe they were accustomed to 
with hooked and creeping being here, just hooking up with people. And they could have been hooking up with multiple people behind the scenes, not just this one person. But this one person found out about you and they got intimidated. They fell right in this energy with this other person that was jealous of you. Yeah, you've helped this person to want to open up. Be open to giving and receiving love. Yeah, and they're definitely woke with third eye chakra being here. This is someone who feels safe around you. They feel the energy of love around you. We have ascended masters. They view you as someone that's very powerful, very wise, very loving. Um, you could be a spiritual teacher. But you have a lot of powerful, loving and wise spiritual teachers that are watching over you and guiding you. These are ascended masters. Yeah. And you've opened this person's eyes to a lot of things that they did not think was possible for their self. Yeah, you are a powerful light worker. Your spiritual power brings a lot of great blessings to um, the divine. So you're definitely someone that is divinely protected, divinely guided. This could also be a connection because I, I see the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles out here. So this could be a divine counterpart, your divine counterpart. The connection is divinely guided. You've helped your divine counterpart wake up from some type of illusion and all hell has broken loose. Because they have mental clarity. Yeah. They're seeing the bigger picture. It's like a lot of things that they could have had a gut feeling about and they just avoid it for a long time. They're starting to see and whoever these people are. And now they're wanting to be honest. This is someone who wants to have a heart to heart conversation. A new chapter begins. This is new love that's coming toward you. This is someone who feels like it is safe for them to talk about their feelings, their emotions. They're no longer wanting to be guarded or afraid of expressing their emotions based off of other people's opinions or just having fear or self-doubt. There could be some type of heartache, some type of um, childhood trauma, past life trauma that needed to be released in order for them to be honest with their self. And want to express their truth, their true feelings that they have for you. Yeah, they're very appreciative. This is someone who views you as their true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. True and lasting love is here for you now. But this person needed to learn to appreciate their self with gratitude being here in order to be able to appreciate someone else. Yeah, you've already met the romantic partner you seek. They are the one. Divine timing is here. Be patient while things are unfolding. This connection is worth the wait. So something is worth the wait. Somebody needed to take their power back. Because they was giving somebody too much control over how they feel, how they express their self their happiness and they're realizing their happiness should only be um based off of them or it should only depend on them 
not another person. They can't depend on other people or look outside of their, their self for happiness. Yeah, they needed to put their self first. Loving yourself makes you more romantically attractive. And if this isn't another person, this could be you. Or this could be both. Take it where it resonates. You and this person could have needed to take back your power. Put yourself first. Find out the truth about a lot of things that was hidden around you. In order to make this positive move. So somebody's ex was definitely involved with breakup and ex-lover being here. Trying to create some type of confusion. Because they were hoping that this opportunity was missed. If this was an ex of yours. They wanted you to miss an opportunity. If this was an ex of your divine counterpart, they wanted them to miss an opportunity. And it was also other people, other third parties, other interferences that were involved. So we have proposal. So there's definitely a love offer that's coming toward you. Now that they're finding out the truth or they're just wanting to express the truth. However they feel about you, they've been hiding it for a long time and they're wanting to open up and express their emotions. They feel like all of their dreams have come true. This could be someone who was wishing and hoping and praying to be in a connection with you. And they don't want to miss this opportunity. They feel like them finding out the truth about this five of wands. These people that were disagreeing with them. Or creating a lot of confusion. Is an opportunity for them to. Um, go towards their wish fulfillment. Yeah, the opportunity to be brave with liquid courage being here to go towards their wish fulfillment. Wherever these people are that were trying to create a lot of confusion, these are people that are stressed out. They're panicking. Because they know whatever they did, especially if they were intentionally trying to hurt you, um, create confusion and towers and some type of betrayal in your life, deception, they know that's coming back or it could already have came back. They're already dealing with karma with divine intervention being here. And it's like somebody is going to watch you be in a commitment with this person this could be a, a marriage with legal matters and wedding being here. Yeah, somebody is getting hit with karma in their finances, like negative karma. This could be whoever this friend is. Or this could have been multiple um, friends. But there was definitely a friend involved. That person is hurt. It's like they, they're at a crossroad. They don't know what to do. They didn't expect for this to backfire. And they're in regret. They feel like they made a bad decision. Because they teamed up with whoever this other person is. To create deception in your life. And they just never counted on. Yeah. They're regretting the, the um obstacles they tried to create for you. Because they feel like whatever they did. It's making that person want to come back toward you or reconcile with you. But they teamed up with whoever this ex is thinking that they would go back towards this person and not come toward you. Yeah.
They started a lot of drama with this ex, whoever this karmic friend is. This was definitely karmic soulmates that they needed to see the truth about in order to move on. Your laugh is amazing. So whoever your divine counterpart is, they love your laugh. And they have trouble expressing their self. This is why they have been avoiding you or holding back. And allowing other people's opinions to prevent them from coming toward you. Now they can't hold back any longer. This is someone who connects with you at night. And they want to make it up to you. So they could be planning um, a different approach. They're trying their best to get over whatever they found out about these people that were trying to like cock block them, stop them from coming toward you. Yeah, they're trying their best to forgive. But this needed to take place because this is something that should never be forgotten. The lessons that we learn in life is not meant for us to just get over them and move forward. These are valuable lessons that will never be forgotten. It's okay to forgive, but never forget. So you're able to discern these type of energies. Whoever your divine counterpart is, they don't know how, but you got to their heart. This is someone who was closed off emotionally. This is someone who was um, very guarded when it came to their heart. They don't trust easy. Or it was hard for them to trust. And this could have been because of some type of betrayal that took place when they were growing up or when they were a child. This is someone who always wanted more in a connection, but they were just afraid. So they never truly opened up. They were just accustomed to this energy. Like an in and out type of player energy. Being immature. Non-committal. Things that weren't serious. Yeah, but they feel like this energy brought a lot of negative karma. Can we talk it over? I want to be different. You mean more to me than you think. With this, can we talk it over and I want to be different? This person could feel like They're different when they're around you versus around other um, people. Because this is someone who feels like they can truly open up and express their self to you. They don't feel comfortable enough to do that with other people. And these are people that they could have been attached to for a long time. And it could be because these are people that are always opinionated. Um, they're always criticizing or judging people, talking about them in a negative way. And it's because these are the type of people that see stuff in other people that they don't see in their self. And it intimidates them. It irritates them. They're bothered by it. So, yeah, somebody has definitely made a lot of changes. And they're wanting to show their appreciation because you're the... You're the reason that this person has made this change that they've made. You're the reason that this person has gained a lot of mental clarity. And they've done a lot of reflecting and they're wanting to express their self with heart chakra being here. Being open to giving and receiving love. 
I'm going to close this reading out with one of these universe messages from the universe oracle cards. This card says your time is coming. Everything is coming together for you, but you must meet the universe halfway. Hold only a bright and happy vision of yourself with successful outcomes and don't allow your fears and insecurities to stand in your way. So this is what the six of swords in the reverse is. This person was doubting this connection based off of other people's opinions. And now that they're seeing the truth, this person realized they were only holding their self back by allowing other people um, to place fears and insecurities over them. They realized whatever they wanted, they had to go after it in order to be able to manifest it or receive it. 